yeah, how we develop playgroups is, is a wonderful thing, and it's something that, that's coming about more and more. I think the essential part is starting with staff, really training staff how to look at body language, how to identify dog-to-dog -dog interactions in an appropriate manner so that they're comfortable. Um, once we get staff on, on board and learning through that, then we really facilitate with that volunteers, because it can really be a, a wonderful volunteer program, really help bring retention into shelters and want people to be volunteering at their local shelter. And then it just spreads the word um, that, hey, they're doing playgroups, you should come and look at this dog, because it's a, it's a wonderful dog in our playgroup, and I think it would be great for your family. So that's where we start with staff and then transition to volunteers. And it, it's really educating both the, um, the volunteers and the, the patrons that come in about dog-to-dog -dog interactions. And once that's a, a baseline, it kind of the play groups just kind of flow because it's, it's such a fun thing to do. Depending upon your limitations of, of the shelter, it can really be designed as anything. How we discuss play groups, play groups can anything be two animals to 15 animals. Um, it, it's letting them play together and use species like behavior. So, um, that can happen with a dog, one dog with another dog, or it could happen with five dogs. Um, it doesn't matter to us. It's that enrichment, that bonding, that helping. Um, so it really depends upon how your shelter is set up, how your environment is set up for playgroups. So um, I'm in Oregon now where it, it rains a lot. So <laughs> we have to use inside space sometimes because um, you don't really get that connection when it's pouring rain and the dogs come out to a playgroup, they're like, yeah, I'd rather just go back inside. Um, but I also was um, the enrichment coordinator of the Hawaiian Humane Society, where it was beautiful all day, day long. So we had all of our playgroups outside, and there we just had to worry about them overheating and playing too much. So it, 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 it's a wonderful thing because they want their social animals to begin with, so they want that interaction. So it's us allowing them to find that space to manage it appropriately.